know what a lot of you guys are waiting for, waiting for that good content, well listen to this. And uh, welcome JDM crew, if you're liking what you're seeing, that's because we're in a... Oh wow, little GPS uh, warning system there, cool, cool. If you like what you see, that's because we're in a R34, and not just any R34, but a V-Spec 2 Nürburgring Edition. But yeah, overall... Definitely love it whenever we get these in because it's one of my favorite factory cars. I mean, regular GTRs are just not as responsive as uh, the Nurburgring Edition. The Nurburgring Edition's got just uh, the feel of everything, even when it's all original, is just plenty. Uh, I mean, uh, well, this is actually a modified shift knob, but overall. Yeah, from the factory, the settings are just right, the response is just right, it's just great. <laughs> but the suspension is just right on this. And of course the power and engine response is too, and that's just, uh, it's just fun. <laughs> well anyways, the uh, R34 obviously is uh, really nice. We do have this display here which is on all editions of GTRs gives you a little information about uh, what's going on with the vehicle. Uh, you can even switch it in between. The uh, gauges are the original 300 kilometer an hour gauges from Nissan. And we got about 97,000 kilometers on the clock, uh, close to 98,000. All original, which is fantastic. And uh, overall, yeah, I'm just cruising up at highway speeds. It's all good. Getting up to sixth gear. The, uh, pretty sure the clutch is OEM. It doesn't feel crazy or anything. Um, but just, yeah, the response, the sound. Oh man, this is great. Uh, so everything is in just pristine condition for, uh, being, even though it's got decent mileage on it though, you know, about close to 60,000 miles, yeah, the interior is impeccable. And, uh, wow, even for some of the bumpy parts on this road is no problem. Uh, but we do have this Alpine audio deck here, which is great. Uh, it's one of the uh, double stacks there, so it takes up the full console here. Ah, another warning, cool. It's actually warning me about the cameras. So they do have a Comtech little GPS thing here, which is pretty nice. Not much else to tell you about the interior other than it's being clean, and I'm gonna show you that once we get to the good old warehouse, and I'll be able to show you that uh, interior and exterior. Exterior is just flawless, and uh, you will see that shortly. Millennium Jade. I mean, I'm not sure if you can actually see the hood from your angle. But uh, yeah, this is Millennium Jade, so it's as rare as it gets. Uh, this bucket seat, though, holds real nicely. And that's the one thing that I do like with the R34s, though, and especially this edition, is just the seats feel right. Along with how the suspension is dialed in, it's not too crazy. And as you might be able to tell from me just cruising along here, it's just fantastic at highway speed. Just, this is really a GT car. what a lot of you guys are waiting for, waiting for that good content, well listen to this. Wow. Yeah, so being the Nürburgring edition, uh, you got about 330 horsepower-ish, but as you can see, uh, it definitely gets up through the RPM real quickly. Clutch and transmission are flawless. 
very smooth through the RPM and also through all six gears. So uh, definitely this has been well taken care of. And compared to the regular GTR, I mean, uh, with some of the carbon fiber parts, it does feel a little bit lighter. It just feels a lot more solid though at the same time. And that's uh, probably one of the reasons why I like it so much even in stock form so this is really fantastic well we're almost to the warehouse here and uh not really much else to show you on the interior so uh let's go check out the engine bay and the exterior here in just a minute all righty and let's start off with the interior here as i mentioned it's in uh, impeccable condition check out the dash here no cracks very smooth and shiny all good and, uh, well, actually, I'm going to get the key here and get the mileage. There you go. And so, uh, yeah, we've got this Alpine audio deck here. Uh, not so sure about the speakers, um, but they appear to be, uh, looks like OEM. Could be a little better. Wait, let's see if we can see through there. The shiny. What is that? Can't really see too well. Oh well. Check out the rest of the interior here. We got this Raymax shift knob. Very shiny. all the uh, carpets and upholstery and the seats everything's original headliners looking fine I'll show you the uh, whole exterior here in a second before we get into the engine bay and trunk we got Brembo's all around See a small vent there for the Nurburgring edition and the front lip. Okay, so it does have front mount intercooler, and uh, there's an oil cooler behind here. Overall, just stunning exterior. And a view here. It's actually getting a little bit breezy here, but uh, uh, some people like to get the uh, upgraded carbon fiber uh, version of this, but on here it's just the aluminum one. And, uh, it is all original, so that's why it's left alone. Nurburgring edition badges. This looks absolutely incredible with that millennium J. Alright, so let's go look at the engine and trunk spaces so you'll be able to get a better idea of what we've got here. This hood, of course, is carbon fiber. Much lighter than usual, so very, very easy to lift. As you can see, carbon fiber. Have a little bit of a, a heat shield right there. And so the vent goes to around the turbo area back here. Just some additional cooling. We have the OEM strut bar here, OEM RB22, or sorry, the uh, OEM RB26 DETT, 
So twin turbo tuned from the factory to about 330 horsepower. This is untouched, so it's pretty original. Let's see the uh, info right there. If you want to look those up, the GTR registry or something. And get some additional info on this. And so the Nurburgring editions and the M Spec Nurburgring editions were uh, towards the end of the run. So around 2002, 2001, there were all the final editions made. So it's relatively young here, just uh, under 20 years old. Excellent condition. And the carbon fiber, even for the ages, is, is impeccable. Usually you start to get some yellowing and stuff for a while, and some oxidization, or some oxidation and all that stuff. So it's like, yeah, it's pretty incredible. Man, just the coating on it is still perfect. here. So the battery on the R34s are like the R33s back here. You can actually put under there. See behind. Right. And uh, do you have the jack? And uh, I think this is for the fluid access. Yep. For the uh, rear steering. The electronic control back there. Very cool. And so yeah, we do have the tools here, all original. Spare tire if you need it. Looks like everything's in great shape on this one. Oh, one other thing about that front lip though is it's also uh, with the a uh, little bit of carbon fiber underneath, so it does keep the airflow real nice underneath there. So uh, can't really get it beyond that, but pretty much everything on here is function and fashion. Well, there you have it, folks. Another R34, but uh, really extra special one, being the uh, V-Spec Tuner. Man. Um, so we've had, shoot, at least uh, four or five, I guess it'd be like eight or nine if you include in the M specs just over the past couple years, just a ton of these, as rare as these are. Absolutely stunning. And uh, I mean, we've even had some of the Bayside blue ones, but out of the uh, Millennium Jades, we've had at least eight or nine. Yeah, like if you count the uh, other, you know, like white and Bayside blue ones, we've had plenty of uh, Nürburgring editions, so yeah, we've had other ones. But yeah, just Millennium Jade alone, wow. Um, but uh, it don't, doesn't get old, these things are fantastic. So if you're looking for this or any other uh, spec of uh, R34s, just contact our sales team, info at jdm-expo.com. If you're in the US, I'm sorry, not yet available. If you're in Canada, some of them are available already for uh, the uh, Actually, all generations of the R34 now are actually available. So, yeah, um, just make sure to check with local laws. Um, our sales team will be happy to oblige and try to get you the info you need and maybe get you one of these sent to wherever you are in the world. And also, you can reach us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Those all go to our sales team. They'll be able to answer all your questions there about the shipping process and uh, any other JDM vehicles. Uh, make sure to uh, subscribe and check out some of our others. Uh, just float around those playlists, check out some of the other cars, uh, whatever you're interested in, and uh, just uh, make sure to give them a buzz, send them an email, whatever, and uh, they'll be happy to talk with you about these cars. And um, man, this is definitely something else. Very clean and uh, running great. So, as always, guys, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, by the way, don't forget about the holiday thing that I've mentioned. Uh, it's getting close to the holidays. If you get those orders in by October, you should be able to get those... Uh, 
should be able to get your JDM Dream cars sent to you before Christmas and New Year. So uh, yeah, just another friendly reminder. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.